Hey guys, I figured uh, this year I haven't made any videos of me actually taking a single off the egg. I'm going to try to attempt to do this now. Uh, it's very easy. It's not that difficult. You don't need uh, many people in the room. You don't need anyone in the room. You can just do it by yourself. Uh, the only reason why I haven't done it is because I don't have anyone to hold the camera. Uh, the problem I have is that no one's holding the camera, of course. But what I'm going to try to do is angle it off my racks. I want to just try to get this um, down packed and actually show you step by step of how, how I do this. Uh, so please cope with me. I'm gonna try to get the angles perfectly right. Um, as you can see right behind me, I opened up um, one of these tubs, one of these racks. Let me slow you guys down a bit. Actually, maybe a little bit more. Perfect. Uh, she's going into this tub right here. <coughs> and the great thing about it is actually my 28 foot tub actually fits in there perfect, like a glove. So the great thing is I actually can just um, put the tub, put this, um, the tub in there, take her off it, put it in another 28 foot tub. I mean another rack uh, tub and um, we can go with that. So let me slide this out. She seems to be done. She seems just to be a hisser, not too much striking or aggressive. Um, so I want to get off these eggs as um, soon as possible. It's about 11 o'clock right now uh, in the morning. She actually uh, started laying at 7 o'clock in the morning. This is the first time I've actually had uh, a snake take that long to actually lay eggs. So I believe this is either just a big clutch you might have stolen her. Hopefully everything's fine. Hopefully there's no problems whatsoever. Uh, let me get a better shot uh, of you guys looking at these snakes, eggs. Alright guys, well, she's right there, so I'm going to take her off. She actually has one egg in her. Uh, hopefully, that's not an issue. Uh -oh. We'll see what happens with that. Gotta keep a close eye on that. Um, that could be pretty seriously um, bad. Uh, hopefully she'll pass it. Uh, let's hope so, guys. Uh, looks like she laid uh, five good eggs and two slugs. Let's move the egg box over here. That's actually on the paper, so I'm going to move that to the side. And we have uh, two slugs. I'm going to slide this tub right back in. Alright, uh, so we have five eggs. Uh, hopefully, guys, she uh, passes the other egg. It's pretty deep, um, you know, upper, upper midsection body. Um, I waited all morning. I didn't see that until now. Uh, so it's hopefully that that passes. Uh, keep you guys updated on that. Uh, hopefully, it's not a bad thing. Although I hate to bring us to a bed and put you out of stress. Alright, guys. Uh, the clip you just seen before of me pulling off the eggs. She actually had an egg still in her which I've never actually witnessed or actually had the experience to deal with something like that. Again guys, when you do a ball pike with any type of live animal, there's always something bad that can actually happen with uh, breeding. It doesn't always go smoothly and this year I actually witnessed that. Uh, thankfully, you know, this is actually 24 hours later from the from the clips you've just seen before of me taking off the eggs and she actually laid that egg. So she had no eggs in her, thank God, thank thankfully I didn't have to try to do it myself, which probably was which probably was what I was gonna do, or I probably would have called up a vet and bring it to a vet or something. Uh, I've been watching a few videos and spoke to a few breeders about how to um, take out an egg from a bull python if that ever happened. So she was, I guess you could say technically egg bound, but not exactly because she did pass the egg actually 24 hours later, the first time me ever witnessing that. Uh, let me take her out. 
can show you her. She's doing great right now. Uh, she's going to eat a nice meal this week. Uh, so this is her. And you can see, there's no lumps in her. She's perfectly all concave and egg free which I'm really happy I'm really really happy with that um you know breeding reptiles is fun really really fun but you guys gotta put into um some prospect that things will always go wrong and always go bad and I'm really grateful that I didn't have to witness anything too bad because I was really thinking if she was gonna be egg bound and if I did lose her you know I don't know how it would feel really I'm breeding again you know, thankfully, I don't. I never had anything die from breeding, and I don't know how I would really handle that, knowing that I bred an animal and it died on my terms. Um, so, thankfully, nothing happened. Um, so, let's move on. I'm going to show you the eggs in the incubator. Here we are in the incubator, guys. Uh, as you can see, some nice looking eggs. Uh, hopefully, everything goes. Everything, um, you know, goes right here. I candle them, they all got veins, they're looking really nice. Uh, we have this clutch over here, which is you know due really soon. Cut, gonna cut them in a few days. Alright guys, so thankfully this is Janic Stripe had no issues, she laid all eggs with no problem whatsoever. And hopefully these eggs hatch with no problem whatsoever. But I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks.